Let's drink apple cider to a much needed update. Tastes great, but it's really hot. It's been a really long time, guys. Between the last time you saw me and now, so much, so much has happened and so much has changed. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to tell you guys the truth. I have been dealing with some severe mental health issues. And um, during that time, since I want to be at my best, I didn't want to make any videos because I just felt like I wouldn't be good enough for you guys. I wanted to make stuff that's really good. Like I want to make sure that I'm, I'm in a great place, like in life, like my bed's made right now. And like, I just took a shower and I'm growing my hair out. It's like, you know, looks good and everything like that. Like I want to make sure that I'm at my best. And I feel like I couldn't provide that. And that's why. It's been six months. So I want to thank you once again for your patience, but I want to let you know a little bit about what has been going on. All right. So, um, mainly just some stuff happened with my mental health. There was a girl I was in love with that I talked about in the Valentine's day video last year and, um, everything fell apart. And between then, you know, last year, late last year, I got a therapist that I've been working with. Long story short, I wanted to get into a, a little story that can talk to you about why I'm here today and what my plans are for the channel in the future and how I want to be committed to making content because I know that's pretty much what everyone is here for. Um, you know, maybe at some point, if you guys want to hear, you know, more about what happened, I'd be happy to share. But, um, for now, I just want to share a little story with you. So I started working out three times a week. And when I first started, I mean, I've tried this four five, six times as an adult. Let me get healthy. Let me get ripped so girls can talk to me. <laughs> Do you know how long that lasted? Like a week at best for most of my adult life. And I'll try to work out, you know, it just, it just wouldn't work. Um, my motivation this time was because I started taking care of my hair. I wanted to grow my hair out, but I've had dry hair for my whole life. So I was like really like trying different products and talking to hair professionals. And I got myself in a better place than I've ever been with my hair. And you know, when I got out the shower, I was looking at myself and I was like, okay, I see your hair going. Now, what about this body here? And I thought, man, I'm really skinny, but like, that's just because I have a fast metabolism. Like, what if I earned my body? What if I wasn't, you know, skinny because I just naturally have a fast metabolism? What if I was you know, it had an athletic build a little bit. What if I worked for my body? So that next week, I joined the gym that I canceled my membership for last year because I never went. I went for like a week and then stopped. I went back uh, and the guy uh, who works at the front desk, he actually recognized me and he was like, yeah, I'd love to get you signed up. I, I remember you, Jordan. And I was like, well, thank you. So we did some stuff and um, I got joined up again. And I've been really trying to be committed to going three times a week. But there was one day where I think it was a, a Thursday. I went up to the gym and I felt really bad because I had something to do, you know, in like two hours and I just got off work or something was going on where the gym was just not the highest priority, but it was still a high priority because if I didn't go, then I would, you know, lose my, I would get out of habit, right? And, and I didn't want that. So I went to the gym, I talked to one of the guys at the front desk and I said, hey, look, is it okay if I can just work out for like, what if I only have 20 minutes or less to work out? Like, is that, 
will that work? And he said, dude, the fact that you're here means that you're keeping the habit. It's better for you to be here and do a little bit of something than nothing at all. So that's great. Go do whatever you can and then go ahead and head out. Do what you got to do, man. I was like, wow, okay. So I can just like, like touch the machine, right? And, and I'll be done. Just touch it real quick. You know, just do a couple reps. Get out of there. And he said, yeah, man, that sounds great. So I did exactly that. I went into the gym, you know, went to the bathroom, got myself situated. You know, I did literally like barely any exercise. <laughs> like I literally just touched it, bro. I like to say the phrase, touch the machine. Didn't do nothing. Left, did what I had to do. And I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about you know this phrase touch the machine and he said when it comes to habit formation it's better for you to touch the machine than do nothing because building a, a, a better life for yourself or developing a good habit or anything like that is all about consistency even if it's just a small amount a small amount of consistency goes a long way you can do a big amount, a whole week of working at the gym seven days a week. And guess what? Nothing's gonna change in your body. You could make a hundred YouTube videos in a day. You're not gonna be the biggest YouTuber and you're not gonna change your body because everything is about consistency. So, you know, basically my friend was telling me, how about you take that same idea of touch the machine and apply that to your YouTube channel? How about you just touch the camera? Just do a little something. Even if you can't give your fans, you know, this big, long, you know, video that takes 10, 15, highest 70 hours to edit. How about you just give them something? Even if it's just something about your week, even if it's like a vlog on your community post, even if it's, you know, just what you've been reading that week. I've been reading a lot of Hajime no Ippo. Uh, I pretty much caught completely up to it from, uh, November 2022 to December, I basically read like 900 chapters in about a month, <laughs> which is a lot. But anyways, um, so I did that and I can talk about that on my channel. Like if I don't have time to, you know, read a rent a girlfriend chapter or, you know, get into something I'm really passionate about or review an anime or something like that, I can just talk about what I've been reading, what I've been thinking. I want to be more consistent with you guys. So I'm going to take that philosophy of just touch the machine and I'm going to apply that to my YouTube channel because I really love you guys. And like, I've been missing you guys for all these months. I, I, I like, I really miss you. And I've been so thankful for all the comments, all the encouragement. You guys are great. I'm going to try to give you guys what you want, and I don't want the channel to die. I'm here. I'm, like, managing, like, cooking and cleaning and going to work and working out and all of this stuff I got going on. But I do not want to give up on this channel because you guys mean that much to me. So without further ado, I'm going to start applying the, you know, just touch the camera. I'm just going to do something for you guys. I'm going to shoot for once a week. If I can't do that, you know, don't hold me to it, but I'm going to be more active on the channel. I care about you guys. I want to make this work. So thank you very much. And you already know what's coming. Let's get it. Let's go. It's time for that trash type beat. Let's get it.